yes good afternoon students yes students as you know we are doing topic friction and uh, in this lecture students we will discuss what are simplest form in friction what are lowest term or a simplest form of a friction number so we will discuss lowest term or simplest form yes students now we'll discuss what are lowest term or simplest form of a fraction number yes students a fraction is said to be a lowest term or in simplest form if the hcf of if the hcf of numerator and denominator is 1 yes friends if the hcf of numerator and denominator is 1 then we can say these fractions are uh, in simplest form yes friends in another word we can say if numerator and denominator they don't have any common multiple if numerator and denominator don't have any common multiple then we can say our fraction number is in simplest form clear students for example we have fraction number 3 upon 5 now here fraction number 3 upon 5 now find its hcf by long division method 5 3 3 1 at 3 next 3 mi uh, 5 3 2 3 2 1 2 1 2 so you can see here hcf is 1 so it means 3 upon 5 are in simplest form Three and five. If the HCF of numerator and denominator is one, then we can say our fraction number is is on a simplest form or its lowest term. Second example, we have ten and uh, sorry. Second example, we have twenty-five, twenty-one, and thirty-five. <laughs> now <laughs> sorry now check 21 upon 35 are in uh, simplest form so to to check the students we will find the hcf of hcf of 21 and 35 35 first we we'll divide by 1 5 minus 1 4 and 3 minus 2 1 again we have 21 divide by 1 40 yes students now 21 41 now 7 2 are 40 so hcf is 7 hcf this number is 7 so it means they are not 21 upon 7 are not in simplest form the second method i explain 21 and 35 yes students observe these numbers carefully 21 and 35 both are multiple of 7 21 and 35 seven 3 are 21 And seven five are thirty five. So both numerator and denominator are multiple of seven. It means twenty one and thirty five both lowest term. Dear students, now students we will discuss few questions of exercise twenty three. 
yes students exercise 23 your first question first part is which of the following fraction are in simplest form question number 1 to 6 question number 1 to 6 are which of the following fractions are in simplest form so first question now your statement is 21 upon 40 exercise 23 first question uh, your fraction number is 21 upon 40 now students find the hcf of numerator and denominator 40 divide by 21 first we will divide by 1 Ten minus one nine, and three minus two one. Next is twenty one. Now we we'll divide by one. Nineteen one or nineteen? Twenty one minus nineteen uh, is two. Next number is nineteen. Two nine are uh, eighteen. Nineteen minus eighteen one. Next, we'll divide by one. Yes, friends. Now you can see the HCF of twenty one and forty. So it means twenty one and forty are in lowest term. Twenty-one upon forty are already in lowest or simplest form. Next is second question. Now we have twenty-four upon thirty-five. Twenty-four upon thirty-five. Now check. Uh, is twenty-four upon thirty-five? In its uh, simplest form, so again find the HCF. Thirty-five divided by twenty-four. So in first step, we will divide by one. In first step, we will divide by one. Now five minus one and three minus two one. Now find by long division method. Now twenty four shift here. Now divide by eleven. Eleven two are twenty two. Twenty four minus twenty two is two. And next is eleven. Two five are ten. One. So friends, again, HCF of twenty-four and thirty-five is one. So it means twenty-four upon thirty-five are in simplest form. Twenty-four and thirty-five are in simplest form. Is not in its. So students, it means fifteen upon twenty. This number is not in its simplest form. Dear yes, students, next is fourth question. Now our number is thirty six upon eighty one. Yes, friends. Now find the HCF of thirty six upon. Uh, now find the HCF of 
Yes, friends. Now eighty one minus seventy uh, two is nine. Now here we have thirty six. Nine four thirty six. So the HCF of thirty six and eighty one is nine. So it means thirty six upon eighty one. This fraction number is not in its uh, simplest form. Clear, friends? This is first, second, third, and fourth question of exercise twenty three. Yes, friends. Now fifth and sixth question. They are same. Find uh, these fraction numbers are in simplest form. So, students, after this lecture, we'll try fifth or sixth question. Okay. Now next is seventh question. Now, students, seventh question. Now, reduce each of the following fraction in its simplest form. Now we will re reduce these fraction numbers into its uh, simplest form. Reduce fraction to simplest form. Now this is question number seven. Your for in seventh question, your fraction number is nine. Numerator is twenty-seven. Numerator is nine, and denominator is twenty-seven, and both are multiple of nine. So divide by nine. Numerator as less denominator. Nine divided by nine is one. Twenty-seven divided by nine is three. So simplest form is one upon three. So, students, simplest form of nine upon twenty-seven is one upon three, because nine and twenty-seven, uh, both numerator and denominator, are multiple of nine. So, we will divide by nine. Nine divided by nine one, and twenty-seven divided by nine is three. Next is. Eighth question. Now your number is sixteen upon twenty-four. Yes, friends. Now your fraction number is sixteen upon twenty-four. Yes, friends. Observe this number carefully and uh, see this numerator and the denominator. Numerator is sixteen and denominator is twenty-four, and both are multiple of eight. Both numerator and denominator are multiple of eight. So students will divide by eight. Sixteen divided by eight. Eight two are sixteen. Twenty-four divided by eight. Eight three are twenty-four. So our answer is two upon three. Yes, students. Next is ninth question. Forty-two upon forty-eight. 
42 upon 48 yes friends now our number 42 upon 40 48 both are multiple of 6 42 and 48 both numerator and denominator are multiple of 6 so we will divide by 6 indivisible so we will divide by 6 6 7 42 and 6 eight are 48 42 divided by 6 we get 7 because 6 7 are 42 and 6 8 are 48 so your answer is 7 upon 8 Seven upon eight. Next is tenth question. Forty-five upon fifty-four. Yes, friends. Now forty-five upon fifty-four. Both are multiple of nine. Divide by nine. Forty-five divided by nine is five. Nine five are forty-five, and nine six are fifty-four. Next is eleventh question. Forty upon seventy-two. Forty upon seventy-two. Yes, friends. Forty and seventy-two. Forty and seventy-two. Both are multiple of eight. So we will divide by eight. Forty divided by eight is five. Because eight five are forty. And eight nine are seventy-two. So your answer is five upon nine. Dear students. Next is twelfth question. Now your second is thirty-eight upon ninety-five. Thirty-eight upon ninety-five. Yes, friends. Now. A uh, numerator is thirty-eight and a denominator is ninety-five. Now observe this number. Both are multiple of ninety. Thirty-eight and forty-five. Both are multiple of ninety. So we'll divide by ninety. Thirty-eight divided by nineteen. Nineteen two are thirty-eight, and ninety-five divided by nineteen. Nineteen five are ninety-five. So your answer is two upon five. Dear students, next is question number thirteen. Thirteenth question. Ah, uh, now fraction number is thirty-five upon 
uh, 63 35 upon 63 Yes, friends. Now, numerator is thirty-five and denominator is sixty-three. Now, students, observe this number. Both numerator and denominator are multiple of seven. So we will divide by seven. Yes, friends. One or oh, oh, more easiest method to find uh, which number numerator and denominator are multiples of the uh, same. See, seven, six, thirty-five, and sixty-three. Both are in the table of seven. Thirty-five upon sixty-three. Both numerator and denominator are in the table of seven. So it means thirty-five and sixty-three both are multiple of seven. Yes, students. Now, thirty-five divided by seven is five. Seven five are thirty-five, and seven nine are sixty-three. So your answer is five upon nine. This is question number seven to thirteen of exercise twenty three. Next friends, next is fourteenth question. Question number fourteen. Now your fraction number is fifty six. Fifty six upon seventy. Fifty six upon seventy. Yes, friends. Now your fifty uh, six and seventy uh, both are multiple of fourteen. Uh, Both numbers are in the table of fourteen. So divide by fourteen. Fourteen four are fifty six, and fourteen five are seventy. And fifty six divided by fourteen is four, and seventy divided by fourteen is five. So your answer is four upon five. Next is fifty-four upon eighty. Sixty-four on eight. Both are multiple of sixteen. Sixty-four and eighty. Both are multiple of sixteen. Now divide sixty-four by sixteen. Sixteen four are sixty four, and sixteen uh, five are eighty. So fifteenth question, your answer is four upon five. Please, friends. Next is sixteenth question. Forty-four and uh, six, uh, sixty-six. Now your number is forty-four and uh, sixty-six. Both are multiple of eleven. Friends, 
44 and 66 both are multiple of 11 44 is, uh, divided by 11 is 4 66 divided by 11 is 6 now students you get 4 upon 6 after uh, dividing by 11 we'll get number 4 upon 6 again 4 and 6 are multiple of 2 so once again we will divide by 2 4 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So your answer is 2 upon 3. Now your number is 72 upon 80. Seventy-two upon eighty. Now, friends, seventy-two numerator is seventy-two and the denominator is eighty. Both numerator and denominator are multiple of eight. So we will divide by eight. Yes, friends. 72 divided by 8 is 9. 72 divided by 8 is 9. And 80 divided by 8 is 10. So your answer is 9 upon 10. Now, students, last question that is. 18th question of exercise 23, 51 upon 68. 51 upon 68. Yes, friends, 51 upon 68. Both numerator and denominator are multiple of 17. So we will divide by 70. 17, 3 are 54. And 17, 4 are 68. So your answer is 3 upon 4. Yes, friends. This is the last question of uh, this exercise. So students, today your homework is Complete exercise 23. Complete exercise 23 in your fair notebooks. Excuse me, Pardeep, sir. Excuse me, sir. Pardeep, sir. Please allow the students for queries.